Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. Russia's ambassador to Croatia has responded to remarks made about the Agrokor settlement by the U.S. ambassador to Croatia, Robert Kohorst, who said on Wednesday that no single group should be allowed to have more than 10 percent voting rights in the future company. Ambassador Anvar Azimov says the U.S. ambassador should not be offering advice on this issue. Russia's Spare Bank and VTB are expected to become the biggest shareholders in the new company. Let the American banks come, come and uh, save Agracor. They don't do it. They don't do it. And Russian banks are ready to do it. So allow to work properly to the Russian bank. I'm sure they will stabilize the situation. They have the necessary resources and the necessary potential and expertise. Agrokor has released new estimates of the value of its units. The concern will be worth around 2.5 billion euros after the settlement, which will see creditors take control of the food and retail group in a debt-for-equity swap. Agrokor's units in Croatia are valued at 2 billion euros and those in other countries around 500 million euros. The HDZ-led majority in Parliament has rejected all 380 amendments submitted by the Social Democrats to a bill that would speed up the construction of the LNG terminal on the island of Kirk. The local government and environmental activists oppose the EU-backed project that is aimed at diversifying sources of supply and reducing dependence on Russian gas. We have to keep in mind the interests not only of the residents of Omishal and Kirk, but the entire country. We are doing this for the well-being of all of our citizens. Diversifying sources of supply will bring cheaper energy. During the debate, our club of deputies, like the government, focused on the opinion of the panel of experts that reviewed the environmental impact study and gave the green light for this project. We focused on the fact that this law can speed up the project and diversify our sources of supply. The economic reasons are justifiable and there is no threat to the environment. We proposed three amendments that would shorten the concession period, raise environmental standards by insisting on a chlorine-free closed system, and give greater compensation to the local community. Since the majority does not appear to support our amendments, we will not support the bill. The Social Democrats called a press conference today to voice their opposition to the LNG terminal law. After the epic conflict of interest we saw with the Agricor law, they started drafting a bill that would roll back conflict of interest legislation, making it a bill on hiding conflict of interest. Now we can see the HDZ government is going against the interests of the citizens of this country in an effort to protect the interests of someone else. Meanwhile, environmental activists protested in front of Parliament today in a last-ditch effort to persuade lawmakers to reject the LNG bill. If it is adopted, activists say they will demand it would be reviewed by the Constitutional Court. A vote is expected next week. This is a very dangerous law. Its only purpose is to grant a 99-year direct concession for the use of a maritime domain. Croatia is expected to join the Schengen area in the very near future. Croatia's accession to the EU's passport-free zone was one of the issues discussed by members of the European Parliament at a conference in Dubrovnik, organized by Croatian MEP Tonino Pizzola. European lawmakers are also discussing the security of the bloc's external border. Croatia must first do its homework and implement the 96 recommendations that are sitting on our desk. Some are more important and others less so, but they must all be implemented. Croatia should do this before the end of the current Commission's mandate because this Commission leans in our favor. Commissioner Juncker clearly stated that Bulgaria and Romania should be admitted immediately and Croatia when it meets the criteria. In sports, in the final test before the FIFA World Cup in Russia, Croatia beat Senegal 2-1 in Osijek tonight. Sara gave Senegal the lead, but Perisic evened the score. Kramaric netted the final goal, making it 2-1.
forecast calls for unstable conditions with rain and thunder showers overnight and tomorrow morning. There is a chance of more severe thunderstorms accompanied by heavy rain. Conditions should improve by Saturday afternoon, but there could still be some lingering showers in places. Expect mild breezes in the interior. On the coast, there will be a light to moderate northwesterly along the shore and higher gusts toward the open waters. Morning lows will range from 15 to 20 degrees. The day's highs will be between 22 and 27 degrees. The weather will improve gradually in the interior on Sunday, but some areas may still get a few scattered showers. Mostly sunny and very warm weather is expected on Monday and Tuesday, with only the odd brief shower. More rain is expected midweek, but temperatures will remain very warm. On the coast, it will be mostly sunny and increasingly warm next week. Conditions will be mostly dry, but there is a small chance of local showers in the north. Rain is more likely midweek along the entire shore. Light to moderate winds west-northwesterlies until Tuesday, when winds will shift to a southeasterly direction. And that brings us to the end of the news. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow.